Hey YouTube, this is Abdel Carfix, and uh, this van uh, I showed a video uh, about how to change the lower, the upper radiator hose, which is a T that goes down there. You see that new one there? It's a T that splits, go to the oil cooler, and then it goes to the radiator here, and it goes in the back there. If you take these guys off, I show in my video, you take this off, and you take one of the uh, the middle computer uh, or BCM. Uh, uh, connector and that will have give you a really easy access to the bottom uh, of the one side of the hose right there so I had trouble with bleeding the air out of this guy so you know as you know these Ford uh, vans or these Ford motors uh, or most of these four with the 2.2 2 point this is 2.0 there's a 2.3 and there's a 3.5 I think they have a trouble uh, burgeoning the air because they have a reverse system and sometimes you require to use a special tool for that. Well, you can do it without a special tool. And basically what I did, uh, it took me about maybe seven, eight tries to get it burged. So basically you run the vehicle to 30, uh, uh, the RBM to 3,500, 3,000, 3,500, around that. Run it for about half minute, shut it off. I come up here, I open this, and you'll can see the bubbles and then tidy it. Then I go in there and run it again to 3,500. Um, and then um, come back here, add, add coolant. If it goes down, add coolant. It's gonna take, take a while before I start taking coolant uh, because there's so much air in the system. So what I end up having to do here, uh, I end up having to uh, basically um, um, uh, once I filled it all up and I kept starting it to put it to 35 RBM 35 RBM and then for about half minute then shut it off and then of course let it idle then shut it off and then come here and release the the cab just release it until you see all this bubbling coming out keep doing that about seven eight times guys I know you're gonna say well that's it took me seven eight times the the temperature gauge was going up all the way hot and I shut it off and it come here bleed it back and forth back and forth and then all at once it burged all the air out you can see um, then I filled it up with about half gallon and then I filled it up and then after that no more bubbles uh, heat start working everything start working uh, temperature stayed at normal did not rise or anything after that so I kind of was struggling with it but uh, I eventually got it uh, to work um, so uh, it might take you keep it trying I mean don't give up keep it trying even if it takes you 10 times like I said um, it'll take time to get it done uh, be patient and you'll be able to bur the burge the systems and this is not just for the hose I mean if you do any work on this cooling system you're gonna have to go through this these guys uh, I think the hose will blow and dumped all the coolant out they might even have it driven it and dumped everything out so the system was completely empty you know um, and uh, we got it done and uh, all the air burst out of it and it's good to go so uh, thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel I would appreciate that